Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures in TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over the lazy binomial heap. If you have not watched the videos on the binomial heap, just the vanilla binomial heap, then watch those before you watch this video. Because in this video, I'm not going to be going over the implementation of this line for line. I'm just going to show you how the operations differ from the regular binomial heap. The three operations that are different in the lazy binomial heap are First, merge, which is going to be constant, and that's down from log of n plus log m. The second one is inq, which becomes constant as well since inq uses merge. And then the last one is extract min or dq, and that's going to stay logarithmic, but the implementation is going to be changed because we are going to be needing to, to do that cleanup every time we extract the min. So I'm just going to show you how these three methods differ from their counterparts. And just a reminder that I have an entire repository of all of the source code of all of the data structures we go over in the series on GitHub and I'll have the description for that in the and I'll have the link for that in the description below. And I'll also have a link in the description below specifically for this lazy binomial heap implementation. So check it out if you need a reference. So the first method that has changed is the inq method and this lazily just enqueues the element onto the heap. So we're going to create the binomial node, pass in the element to the binomial node constructor and then put that into the new root variable. And then we're going to just lazily concatenate this binomial node with the rest of the roots list or forest. So if there is a head existing, then we're going to attach the new root sibling. We're going to make the sibling of the new root the old head and then move the head pointer to become the new root. And then we're going to increment the size instance variable of this entire class. We're then going to set the minimum root. And the reason why we have min root is so that the peak operation can run in constant time. So we have a constant access to the smallest root of the roots list. So if the min root pointer does not exist, that means this is the first element to be enqueued in the lazy binomial heap. So we're just going to simply set the pointer to become this dot head. Otherwise, we need to check to see if this new root is smaller than the min root pointer that's already existing. So we use the compare function that the client has given us, and we pass in the this dot head, which is the new root. We pass in the value of this dot head, and then this dot min root, and check to see if it's zero. If it is zero, that means this dot head is smaller than this dot min root. So let's update the min root pointer to point to this dot head, which is indeed our new root. And then you return this dot head for the client to keep. So the next method that's changed is the union method, also known as merge. And this is a lazy implementation of union. So the runtime becomes O of one. So the union method is going to take another heap as a parameter. And this is going to be another entire heap. And it's going to return the heap which is the result of taking the union of this heap and the other heap. So we're going to initialize this union heap and then we're going to set the head to be this dot head. And then we're going to have a current pointer point to this dot head. And then we're basically going to traverse this entire root list until we get to the end with this loop. And then once we get to the end, we're going to set the last node of this heap. We're going to set the sibling of that node to be the other heap's head. And then, and then we're going to attach the two heaps. We're going to lazily concatenate them by setting the cur.sibling equal to the other heap.head. So cur.sibling at this point is the last node in the union heap root list. So then we're just gonna attach the sibling to the other heap's head pointer. And then we're going to increment the size of union heap by setting it to this dot size plus the other heap dot size and then return the union heap. So one thing that I noticed is that this is not actually O of one because we are traversing the first heaps list root list. Um, so I think I'll change the implementation by the time you see this on GitHub, where I'll have constant access to the tail. So I'll just be like tail dot sibling equals other heap dot head. But the main idea is that we're not going to be doing any sort of um, consolidating. At this point, we might have our invariant violated such that there could exist two binomial trees of one degree K. So the idea is still gonna be O of one. And then the last method that's changed is the dq method, and this is going to run in still log n with an amortized analysis. And this just dq is the smallest element from the heap. So there's two phases to the dq method. So the first step is going to be removing the smallest root from the main root list and then decrementing the size. And we will go into this function definition, this method definition after. If there is no smallest root, so it's basically this is an empty heap, we're just going to return null, and then we're not going to go into the second phase, which is the consolidating or cleaning up. So then this next check checks to see if the root has children. And if it does, we're going to add it to the forest. And, and this really just means concatenating the children with the current heap. 
So opening this if statement up, if the smallest root has children, and that's signified by the leftmost child not being null, if we have that, then we're going to set the last child in the list of children to point to the current head. So we're basically just adding the children, we're prepending it to the list of roots. Um, but while we are traversing the list of children, we want to delete the pointers that link the children to the parent. So we're going to do that by first initializing two pointers, child and last child. Child will be a pointer to the current child and then last child will be there just so like after at the end, we can link the last child's next pointer to the current head if the head exists. And then basically in this loop going back here, while the child pointer is not null, we're going to first set last child to be the current child, and then we're going to delete the parent pointer and then advance child pointer to point to the next one. So again, really, we're just moving all the children to the front of the list of roots if they exist. We are then going to consolidate this entire heap. So this is the step where we're actually making sure that the heap invariant is satisfied. And then if we remove the smallest root, which we'll know if this expression of value is to true, so this dot min root is the smallest root. So if the smallest root that we just removed is the same object as the minimum root pointer, then we're going to recalculate the, the minimum. And then finally, after that, we return the removed root, which is smallest. And we're going to go into the consolidate step. So this is probably the bread and butter of the lazy binomial heap. So the consolidate step consolidates the current state of the heap such that only one tree exists for degree k. And this is going to run in O of t plus log n. So remember that this step is doing all the cleaning up, it's doing all of the consolidating and the coalescing, it's making sure that our heap invariant is indeed satisfied. So the first step is to sort the trees because that makes it easier for us to continually link these trees. And we're going to sort these trees with bucket sort and this is going to be a call to sort for us. The second step is moving from one end of the buckets to the other end and continually linking trees as long as there's two trees in a bucket. So we get all the trees for a specific bucket K and if there is no trees then we just continue. This is going to be an array of trees. Otherwise we're going to continue to link them. So while the number of degree K trees in that bucket is greater than or equal to 2, we're going to link the last two trees in that bucket. So we're going to pop off the two trees from the array of trees and the array of trees is just the bucket. So here we have tree A, pop it off, and tree B, pop it off. We then link the trees and remember that the tree with the smaller value becomes the new root because this is a minimum lazy binomial heap. And then after, once we link the trees, we're going to promote that tree into the next bucket of degree K plus 1. Because remember, the recursive definition of a binomial tree, when you link two trees of degree k, you get a tree of degree k plus 1. So we're going to move that um, to the next bucket. And then we're going to finally decrement the counter number of deg degree k trees. Uh, so then we can finally eventually stop looping when we no longer want to link trees. And that's when we have less than two trees. So if there's like one tree of degree k or zero tree of degree k, that's fine. That doesn't violate our heap invariant. And then finally, after this for loop is done running, sorted trees is going to be an array of buckets, and each bucket is going to have zero or one tree of degree k, so at most one. So then we're going to convert this array of buckets degree uh, sorted trees right here and convert that into an actual root list, a linked list of trees. So that's what we're doing here. And then finally, we return the, the head pointer, which is going to be the new head pointer for the list of trees, the root list or the forest. So at this point, we return the consolidated uh, list of roots, and this list of roots does not violate our, our invariance. There's only going to be at most one tree of degree k. And then finally, the last method that I'm going to go into is the bucket sort. This is sort forest. And sort forest just sorts the list of trees in O of t plus log n time using bucket sort. And then we can use bucket sort because we have a cap or upper bound. on the degrees of our tree, which is just going to be log t. So using a traditional sorting algorithm would take t log t time, but because we have an upper bound on the degrees of our tree, we can run bucket sort in a linear amount of time, which is log t. So the way we do that is create an array of sorted trees, and this is going to be an array of arrays, and, and each internal array is going to be essentially the bucket, and then the number of degrees is going to be this expression right here. It's the ceiling of the logarithm base 2 of n plus 1, where n is the number of nodes in the heap. 
And then we basically go through the root list. So we set a current pointer equal to the current uh, head pointer. And then we're going to first save a reference to the, the root list sibling. But then we're going to delete that uh, sibling pointer. And then we know that trees of degree k should go into the kth index. So we're just going to store it into the index variable for readability. And then push the tree of the bucket in the index. So we have sorted trees at the degree index. We have that bucket and then now we're going to push the uh, current tree to that bucket. And then we're going to set the current pointer equal to the next pointer that we have saved. So finally, sorted trees will be an array of buckets and each bucket will be stored at an index k and each bucket will store all of the binomial trees of degree k. So then going back to, to the call site of this dot sort forest, we're going to have, we need, you know, to have these sort of trees, which will allow us to consolidate or clean up the trees easier by linking them together from, I guess, left to right or right to left. And that's going to be in consolidate. And finally, consolidate returns a head that is consolidated. And then we're going to update the current head pointer to be the consolidated pointer. So that is that. So that was the lazy binomial heap. In summary, just remember that there's three methods that change from the regular binomial heap. It's that merge and enqueue now become lazy. And because they become lazy, we have to change the definition of extract min slash dq uh, to do an extra cleanup step. And then at first it's O of n, but then with amortized analysis, it goes down to O of log. So this beautiful, this data structure is quite beautiful to me because it's very fascinating how we can achieve fast run times when you become lazy and stop worrying about maintaining the structure of the data structure at all times. I went over the implementation of this fairly quick because it's a quite beefy data structure. There's, I think, around like 300, 400 lines of code in total. So really um, look at the resources, resources I put below in the description below and look at the source code and then you'll, you'll, you'll understand um, the, the lazy binomial. And in the next data structure, we're going to go over Fibonacci heaps which get decrease key down to constant. And the reason why this is important is because algorithms like um, Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm and Prim's minimum spanning tree algorithm heavily leverage decrease key. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.